Seeksters, hi YouTube, hope your day has been fab. Today's video is going to be all about the best accessories right now. So if we don't know each other yet, hi my name is Chi Chi and I am the blogger behind SuppleChic.com and SuppleChic TV where we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle from the curved perspective. So if you like styling videos, try-ons, and style guides like this one, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. We would absolutely love to have you. All right, so the first hot accessory for 2019 and I know this is going to be controversial because some people like it and some people can't stand it and I completely understand why it's going to be the PVC trend um I've got a bag right here for you guys this is definitely a dupe for the Stodd bags which are like around or over a hundred dollars I think they're like around the two hundred and fifty dollar mark I know I, I did see quite a few of them on sale on Netaporta but for the most part you can get these almost everywhere now I got mine for forever 21 last I checked they had a few of them left so of course I will link it down below for you I'm thinking of getting ones in white as well but anyways these clear sort of like PVC bags what I like about this is that this mock croc on the inside kind of adds like a elevated touch to you know a clear bag like if you've ever worked retail you probably have one of these but you know this is retail but make it fashion you know um another example of that would be also these clear slides um i got these from Target and they're perfect for vacation. I know some people have issues with the PVC trend because like if you get like for example a pump or a boot there's really some of them have vents but if it gets really hot like it's gonna be really steamy in there. Um, <laughs> but you don't have that issue with something like this because it's just a little tiny piece of plastic that goes around you know a small portion of your foot. So really like these and if these are still available I will have them link last I checked I think they were gone but I may be wrong so I'll link them down below make sure to click that description box and check it out because I will have details to everything that you might want to know and if I don't have it then go ahead and leave me a, a, a comment down below or the next accessory that's super hot this year will definitely be the mule now I, you know i always get confused i get confused at times because my understanding of a mule is a closed toed shoe that has the back open right but also i've seen that you know some mules include those with kind of like the front open I'll have pictures so you guys know what I'm talking about. I personally love them as, as a blogger and a fatty. Um, all you gotta do is slide your foot in the shoe. You don't have to deal with no laces. You don't have to no straps. You don't have to deal with no buckles. And I think that's probably why everybody loves them too. You can go kitten heel. You can go really high heeled. You can go, you know, flat. Whatever kind of floats your boat. But the mule is here, honey. And it's here to stay so get yourself a pair and I feel like a broken record when I say <laughs> when I talk about this next accessory that's huge and hot it was huge and hot last year it's huge and hot this year and these those are the wooden bags honey the wooden bags now the arc bag is super famous and everybody knows about them and I think Colt Gaia also made this shape as well the name of this is not coming to me, but I'll put it on the screen. But anyways, wooden bags are cult. Gaia made wooden bags a thing. They made it come back. And I think, you know, influencers like um, Blair Eddy for making it super popular. But I like it. It's like a vintage. This is not new. Like, this is stuff that was hip and in, I don't know, in the 70s, late 80s, around the 80s. And they brought it back and it exploded everywhere. You can get these bags everywhere from Forever 21 to Amazon. Or you can go ahead and go to Call Gaia and spend them coins, okay? But either way, I will link, um, put a link to some options down below. I have several dupe options for you guys linked on my Amazon store, on my Amazon store okay um <laughs> down below 
So if you're interested in these wooden bags and you know, you, you know, you haven't been sure, definitely check the links I have down below. So the next hot accessory is definitely going to be angular frames. I love a good angular frame. Like they just give you that, you know, I'm bad to the bone. Sort of like, don't talk to me. I'm a boss. Okay. <laughs> that is my very horribly, really bad New York accent. But I love angular frames. And um, I would say Celine definitely was the pioneer in this area. And thanks to them, um, a lot of different, you know, it's kind of like disseminated through fashion. So if you don't have an angular frame, definitely check them out. They had like the super skinny ones last year. You could do that. You could do ones like this. They're kind of like mid-size. Um, you could go even bigger than this. So whatever kind of floats your boat. But definitely angular frames are the one of the hottest accessories for 2019. Another trend that I feel like I'm totally like a broken record talking about is definitely going to be the barely there sandal again there's a lot of debate about this trend because it's not the most plus size friendly especially if you get in the stiletto so what i suggest is that you look out for options that come in like with a block heel options that are not like super high um you could also look for options that have like really cool architectural elements to them so like a circular heel or like a geometric heel all these things will give you a little bit more balance um and won't be like super crazy now, and the next trend is kind of like newer um definitely started like creeping in last year and i would say that this year it's starting to become a blogger fave and it's gonna be the shell accessory trend i believe like the designer that brought these out was selling them for like 700 800 but just know the price was high as as F, okay um so i'm glad to see like brands like topshop and asos Star and mango starting to disseminate the trend and make it like affordable for regular folks um where i where i grew up in nigeria we used to call these cowries so it's totally the it thing right now get yourself one on your neck they have earrings they have anklets they have bracelets that's how i decided to kind of like buy into this trend so i will link some options down below i believe this one is from the asos curve section so if you have like bigger wrists like i do i will try and link this one if it's still available um Definitely a trend, a simple way to kind of like update your jewelry and really, really inexpensive, honestly. So the last accessory, I almost feel like it comes back every single year. It's definitely one of the top accessories for um, summer and that's going to be a straw fedora. If you don't have one yet, definitely grab yourself one. They're probably all on sale right now because, you know, once July hits, everything summer goes on sale so i will link a couple of options down below if you have a big head like me i will also link an option down below for you just in case you've been struggling to find one that actually fits your head your girl got you so let me know in the comments down below what's the one accessory that you cannot live without this summer that you've been wearing over and over again or that you have maybe been lusting after Let's continue our conversation down there. So if you like this video, make sure to share it with a friend. And if you're subscribed, make sure to hit that notification down below so you're notified when I post the next video. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled